Just at 10, new video obtained by WDSU shows City Councilman Jared Brissett following a vehicle accident in his own district. Brissett was booked with DUI and reckless driving earlier this morning. Reporter Shay O'Connor joins us live with the details and reaction from an eyewitness. Shay. Sherman, that's right now. Eyewitnesses tell me Brosette appeared to be very disoriented following that wreck last night, but they also tell me that they're thankful that the situation wasn't much worse. Were you driving this car? An eyewitness describing what he saw during a vehicle collision Saturday night along Elysian Fields. It was later determined Councilman Jared Brosette of District D was the driver of the truck that caused the accident. Witnesses say he plowed into another vehicle on scene. This video obtained by WDSU shows parts of the encounter following the accident. What piqued my interest was that it had the blue lights in the back and a siren. And so I was thinking he was like an undercover cop or something, right? Like on duty, off duty, I don't know. But still, that's incredibly negligent. Just to, uh, that's, you, you're, you're supposed to be held to a higher standard, I feel like, whenever you're, you know, speaking on behalf of the city. Orleans Parish uh, Sheriff's yeah, Office yeah, 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 arrested yeah, 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 Brosette for a DUI and reckless driving. Him talking to just the paramedics at this point, and he's refused to answer questions. Like, they're like, sir, like, how many, how many quarters is in a dollar? And he's like, I don't know. You can't be driving around like that. He could have killed that guy. It could have been any one of us. According to OPSO, Brissette was released on bond shortly after he was arrested. Now, Brissette was elected to New Orleans as city council in February of 2014, and we did reach out to Brissette for comment. We'll let you know when we hear back. But for now, reporting live from Gentilly, Shay O'Connor, WDSU News.